Let's. Uh, we do have somebody in on the Twitch, and this moves us to the next topic. The PGA has rescheduled their majors for 2020. Uh, the PGA Championship is now August 3rd through the 9th. The U.S. Open is September 14th through the 20th. The Masters is uh, moved all the way to November, and the British Open has been canceled. Uh, now, Darkness5632 jumps in. He said, you know, I'm not sure how I feel with the Masters moved to November. It'll be odd to not see it in April. I also have a question. Could you see them possibly moving the Open Championship to St. Andrews next year instead of 2022? I've heard plans that it is something they're thinking of doing, uh, and Royal St. George would be in 2022 instead. So the way that the schedule is working, it was supposed to be St. Andrews this year, St. George next year. That's they're they're going to push it to the next year. Yeah. Like it's it they they are not going to move St. George from twenty twenty one. They'll just because move they, this they on. They don't have anything in twenty twenty two scheduled yet, right? Correct. So they're they're so not gonna easy, move it's easy just to bump it. Yeah, rather than rescheduling two things, that's right. They're, they're just, just gonna reschedule one. one. That's um, right. that's that's, and I think that's probably the best move right now. We've talked about this a million times at the end of the day. Flexibility is the number one main rule of the game. All yeah. right. If, if you are rigid and you are stuck in certain ways and you like things a certain way, man, then you're not going to get what you want. And you're just going to be one of those people mad on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right That's now it. is not a good time to not be flexible. No, like flexibility is the most valuable asset you have right now. Now the, the good news is, uh, you know, the PGA championship being August 3rd through the 9th, um, we might possibly be able to get football season started on time. If the worldwide mm. trends continue on the way that they have gone for the past three days, then we might be in a good spot. You know, I, I would hope for that. We but, need to stop looking at golf and comparing the rest of the sports. Yeah, no, that's, that's true. Because I think golf is missing out right now on an opportunity to take over sports for the next 60 days. Oh, yeah. There, there are a hundred of the top 150 golfers in the world all live in Jupiter, Florida, or within like a two hour circle of Jupiter, Florida. Yeah. Okay. Why they can't do what we've talked about, which is everybody self quarantine, everybody stay clean. We have a couple of television camera guys and a couple of sanctioned reporters that are quarantined off. You go and we could be televising golf events. And this is something that I think would be interesting do things different with golf that you've never done before to try to bring in new um, uh, fans. And and it could be by volunteer only. If you don't want to self-isolate yourself or go to these places or whatever, then, then you don't have to. The best 64 golfers that we can get, okay? The best 60 golfers we can get and the best four amateurs we can get. Yeah. And you put together a bracket, a 64-man match play bracket, and you let them play. Man, right now they'd be destroying ratings. ESPN would actually have something to air, NBC Sports, CBS Sports, everybody. Sell the rights to everyone. Sell yeah. them to everyone. Yeah. I, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, I just don't see you. why. Because you could be on a golf course pretty easily, keep social distancing, keep, keep away from each other, and play your damn round. And you don't have fans there. I don't think that'd be weird at all. Uh, Darkness came in. Uh, he said, problem with the November Masters is starting time. The sun will set much earlier than in April. Uh, he said, so play will either earlier. have to be rushed or move back a few hours. Uh, look, they just, yeah, they just started earlier. Yeah, you're just going to start earlier. Like in, so in November. At 7 a.m., they'll tee off at 5 a.m. I mean, it's just part yeah, of it. it. It just is what it is, and that'll have to be fine. I mean, these guys are going to be going up against all of the other sports that are going on at that time anyway. You're gonna have. You're probably gonna have Major League Baseball in November. You're probably gonna have NBA. Maybe go that far. I, I mean, it, it, I don't. We'll see. I don't think we're gonna have baseball in November. You will definitely have football uh, going on at that point. So, I mean, it's the whole thing's crazy. Like, it, it, you're you're gonna have an overabundance of sports if everything comes back the way that we're hoping. You're just gonna have to deal with all of this different stuff, and it is what it is. Like, I'm I'm good with it. Like, I. Give me, give me the Masters and a day of college football all at the same time. I'm good with yeah, that. It doesn't bother me at all. G give me the Masters and NFL football all going on around each other. Like, that's going to be pretty crazy. Like, how is CBS going to figure out all of that, right? I mean. We'll just figure it out. 
yeah, we'll just figure it out. We'll go from there. Uh, let's go ahead and move into some – 